Hi friends, we're going to read chapter 3 of Magic Treehouse Afternoon on the Amazon. At the end of chapter 2, Jack did the magic where he pointed into the book. He wished he could go to the Amazon forest. The tree began to spin. There was a lot of noise and then it stopped. I wonder if the magic worked and where they landed. Let's read chapter 3 and find out. Chapter 3 is titled, Yikes! Uh-oh, that makes me nervous. Jack opened his eyes. The air was hot and steamy. It looks like we've landed in some bushes, said Annie. She was peeking out of the treehouse window. Peanut was peeking out of Annie's pocket. Remember, Peanut's a mouse. Jack peeked out of the treehouse, too. They had landed in a sea of shiny green leaves. Outside, there were flowers, bright butterflies, and birds, just as in the book. That's strange, said Jack. I, I wonder why we didn't land in a tree, the way we always do. I don't know, said Annie. But let's hurry and find the thing for Morgan, so we can get back home before we meet any big bugs. Wait, that seems weird, said Jack. I, I don't understand why we landed in bushes. I better read about this. Oh, come on, said Annie. We don't even need the ladder. We can just climb out the window. Annie put Peanut in her pocket, and she stuck one leg out the window. Wait! Jack grabbed Annie's other leg. He read, the rainforest is in three layers. Thick, thick tree tops, often over 150 feet in the air, make up the top layer. This is called the forest canopy. Below the canopy is the understory and then the forest floor. Get back in here, cried Jack. We're probably more than 150 feet above the ground. We're in the forest canopy. So you can see they landed in a tree, but all the way at the top of the tree. So below these treetops are the rest of the tree trunks and then a forest floor 150 feet down below. That would be too far of a drop for Annie. I'm glad Jack stopped her. Yikes, <laughs> said Annie. She slipped back into the treehouse. We have to use the ladder, said Jack. He got on his hands and knees. He moved the leaves away from the hole on the floor, and he looked down. The ladder seemed to fall between the branches of a giant tree, but Jack couldn't see beyond that. I can't tell what's down there, he said. Be careful. Jack put the rainforest book back in his backpack. Then he stepped into the rope ladder. He started down. Annie followed with Peanut in her pocket. Jack pushed through the leaves. He came to the understory, which is the layer below the canopy. And then he looked down at the forest floor. That's the first layer all the way at the bottom. It was very far away. Oh, oh man, whispered Jack. This world was completely different from the ones above the treetops. Now that they were out of the sun, it was cooler. It was also damp and very quiet. Ooh, Jack shivered. This was the spookiest place he had ever been. And that is the end of chapter three. Check back soon for chapter four. We'll keep reading what happens to Jack and Annie.